Hello, my name is Dave. This is Sport to 4 Golf. This is a golf vlog made in Perth, Western Australia. And I've never done the intro like this before, so I'm kind of ad-libbing now. Uh, this is part three, so if you haven't already watched part one and two, I'll put a link up there. Uh, I'm playing Stableford here today, and um, hopefully by now you've had enough chance to go back and look at those, but currently I am on six, 11 points, and I should be on 12 points. So if you don't understand Stableford, I did recap the rules in, two, in part two, but basically if you're American, because every other country in the world will understand it, a net par is two points, a net bogey is one point, a net birdie three points, and so on. So the aim, or if you're hitting your handicap, is two points, multiplied by however many holes you're playing. So uh, I'm a 12 handicap. Uh, of these final three holes, we've got a par four, then a par three, then a par five. I get a shot on this hole and the final hole, but not on the par three. So I'm one behind or one worse than my handicap at the moment. So I really need to capitalize on either this or the par five, and I need to make par uh, on the par three. So yeah, look, let's see if we can do it. Um, if while you're watching, you do enjoy it, hit that thumbs up, leave me a comment below and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications. Don't know why I sung that. Anyway, uh, I'm literally the only person on this golf course. So uh, I'm um, gonna get on with it. All right then, so we have hole number seven. It's par four, 330 meters, 360 yards. Dog leg round to the left. I've got the wind dead into me. I wouldn't normally hit driver here, but it's needed basically. So uh, I'll get a shot here as well. So I'm pretty much aiming at the inside corner of the dog leg. Um, Uh, I'm aiming about there. Yep. Absolutely spot on perfect. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I'm just choking on a oat bar. Um, apparently not that healthy for you. Uh, so one, 120, which means I need more club. Uh, so yeah, 120, I'm gonna hit a nine iron. Wind's blowing hard across me from that side. Um, so yeah, pretty much gonna go right side of the green and, and hopefully it comes back on that wind. It's all over it. Is it long enough? Oh, it's next to it. Oh, but it's spinning back. Stop. You. Oh. I almost swore there, ladies and gentlemen. That was pin high and it spun back off the front of the green. Harsh. Pitch mark. Just here. Ball back there. This is going to break a lot. This is going to go hard. So I'm going to uh, go a fair distance outside the left. It's also quite a way uphill from me as well. So it does need hitting. It's pretty good. Stay up. Oh my word. Problem with this green is that's not dead. All right, come on. This is the chance to uh, to get that four for three points. Get rid of the flag, read it properly. It's pretty much, it's pretty much straight uphill. So again, the, the worn grass is around this side and the 
the clean grass is around here, so it kind of means that it wants to die in that way. So it's gonna it's gonna move a little bit. It's not a long putt, but I think I'm gonna have to give it a little bit of respect on the right hand side. So I am gonna go. I am gonna go right edge. Quite firm. Got it. All right, we're back onto my handicap. That's three points on that hole. Okay, so done the first part. I have uh, got back to level with my handicap for the nine. Uh, par three now, no shot. Uh, it's only 136 metres, so 150-ish yards. I'm hitting an eight iron because I'd prefer to be long. Um, Short here, everything spins back to you. So I'm gonna hit this one a bit smoother. That's the theory anyway. Um, and out to the left and away from those bunkers a little bit. So left side of the green would be great. Everything feeds back to where that flag is anyway. I've just tugged it a little bit and I'm massively short. Hmm, something went wrong there. Bugger. Got to get up and down. All right, so when I said I was massively short, I was like literally half a club and it bounced up there anyway, so it's a bit of an exaggeration, but hey, it's YouTube, right? Um, so, I don't need loads of loft, but I just need to get it up in that area just in front of me and everything should trickle across to the right as I look at it and back towards you. Be good, be good, go in. Oh, ran on a bit. And stayed there. All right, so I need this then. Need this. You probably can't even see where the ball is yet, but I will keep it running. And uh, I'll press stop on that before it goes missing. Hi. Pressure on this, bit of pressure. We've got this much. Pretty straight, uh, maybe not. Nah, it's definitely going to go like that. It's a bit of a bender. Leave it. Again, just have a look around the hole. I've been doing that a lot on my putts. So again, just looking for where the good clean grass is because grass grows downhill. So the messy side will be the low side of the cup. So this is going to come in kind of like, sort of like four o'clock is where this goes into the hole by the looks of that. Talk's a good game. Can he make it? It's all downhill as well. So it's going to be quick. It's going to turn more. Easy game. Easy game. Another two pointer. On to the last. Okay, so ninth hole, par five. It's like stroking deck six or seven, this one. So it's not an easy, an easy hole at all. It's about 470 meters, so it's well over 500 yards. Uh, more like 530, and um, it's every bit of a two shot. It does feel a bit like the wind's behind, maybe a bit across, but I'm going to go at that tree at the end, and uh, hopefully, if the wind is coming off of there, then it just starts moving it around the other way. That's the swing. All right, let's go. Oh, 
Oh, it's gone a long way right. That will probably be on the seventh tee box. Wow. Now you might be thinking, why is he not upset that he's just literally block sliced one off of the hole that he's playing? Well, ladies and gentlemen, the major reason is oh, I've basically been hitting pull hooks for the last three weeks. So I'm just glad that it's not somewhere down in the red tees at the moment. So that's my ball. That's the tee box that we started the part on going down that way. But we need to go down there. So let's work out how we do that. Okay, so I've got 330 meters to go to this flag. It's a long blooming way. Um, obviously can't get there. So I've also got to go over that tree right in front. So I'm just hitting a seven iron and um, wind's blowing kind of left to right here as well. So I need to factor that in because it's not good over on the right. It's not good on the left actually either, but you hit it here. All right, just needs to be a good swing. You don't need to smash it, just a good swing. Probably don't want that much ground. Okay. Sorry to the green keeper. Oh, it's a worldy. It's gone a bit on the wind, but yep, that'll be good. That'll be good. And I'll put some sand on that right now. Okay, so I managed to cut the distance down to 185 meters or about 205 yards. Um, it's all downhill, so I'm gonna hit a four iron. And um, yeah, it's gonna, the wind is still going hard left to right. So yeah, let's, um, Let's put one out on the line of that flagpole that I don't know if you can see, but about here. Oh, I got it a bit heavy. It hurt but it is chasing up. It's almost got to the front edge. It's close. Sort that out. The greenskeeper is literally gonna hate me. Um, it's close to the front edge and I get a shot here. So I'm in a good spot. I'm in a good spot. Okay, uh, it's uphill so I can be pretty aggressive with it. That has got a massive bit of mud on it. So I am gonna clean it again. If you didn't catch it earlier, there are winter rules in effect on account of it being winter. All right, 54 degree. I'm gonna fly it about three quarters of the way. Being uphill, it should stop pretty quick as well. Go in, go. Oh, oh, close. But I am not going to complain. I am going to stroll up and tap that in for a, it's for a five, isn't it? Yeah, for a five from where that was. That's not too bad at all. And five for three points means that I beat my handicap by one. Okay, so thank you for watching the video. It's super, super windy. It's in fact blowing its tits off, as we would say. Round highlights from Arcos. I only hit one fairway, three greens. Average approach distance of 96 means that I probably drove the ball a bit better, but I just wasn't hitting the fairway. Three out of five up and downs though. Really, really pleased with that. And 15 putts. I did putt quite well today as well, which probably goes hand in hand with that. Strokes gained wise, uh, gained 0.1 driving, not really. Lost nearly a shot in approach, gained it back in short game, 
and then gained two shots in putting as well, which is pretty good. Um, overall, you know, the, the stats from Arcos there are good. Plus four is one better than my handicap. I'm really happy with that, considering where I've been lately. My game's been trash, to be perfectly honest. So, um, yeah, quite pleased with that. I really hope you can hear all this. It's not too windy. Um, the, uh, the road mic has um, done very well, I think, throughout the three videos. If you did enjoy the video, smash that like button, leave me a comment below, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications if you haven't done so already. Thank you very much for joining me. This is da I'm Dave. This is 4 to 4 Golf. See you later.